garbage absolutely garbage um what can i say about the performance england nil scotland nil um hmm gareth Salve, they lose scotland were the better team i hold my hands up scotland were the definitely better team i didn't expect that i expect a lot more energy from this england side and i didn't see that at all um i know people are going to come out with southgate to help a manager good enough blah 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 and they might have a point but to be honest that this team should have been good enough to be that scottish side they scotland clearly wanted it more and england did not well that's because they were nervous or what i don't know um when you look at the selection he fixed it he brought on shore left back didn't really do much reese james right back to be honest person i wouldn't have um played with James I would have played Carl Walker instead still even though he didn't have a great game against Croatia but still or Trippier um, not Reese James um, but again that wasn't really the issue you could have maybe argued maybe could have played Bellingham instead I don't know um, but again you know we, I think what concerned me was that of how much of the ball Scotland had they didn't do much of it let's be real there were barely any shots on target either teams um, but we just didn't really do anything and you know People have got to step up, really. They've got to step up. Like, the only thing I could say is that maybe he could have made the changes earlier. Um, Rashford, Grealish coming on. What did they do? Um, well, Grealish did a bit more than Kane. Well, Grealish did more in five minutes than Kane did in 70. Um, I don't really understand what's wrong with Kane. He doesn't look fit. He keeps on coming deep which I don't think is helping us because we need an outlet. It's like you're looking at the ball and like, right, Kane, you need to be in the box, okay? Is it because we're playing with... I mean, it could be because we're playing with inverted um, wingers. You know, Sterling and um, Foden seem to like to... like Much like Rashford and Greenwood and United um, like to come inside. Um, but... No one's actually really crossing, so maybe he feels he needs to come deep to get to, to pick up the ball. I don't know, but we need Kane in the goal, and we need people to cross to him so we can score. Because right now he's coming too deep, and he's he's, he's basically had two terrible games. Um, personally, for me, if we we're still going to play that way, I wouldn't start him. He doesn't contribute at all. Um, I would probably, um, if you're going to play this way. Um, then play Phil Foden as a false nine and then bring in Sancho and Sterling on the left, the rational left. Um, that's how you do it. But yeah, um, shout out to Scotland, shout out to Scott McTominay. If only you could do that for Manchester United, please do that on the regular for Manchester United. Um, it makes this group very interesting now. Um, you have, I think, Croatia on one point, Scotland on one point, England on four, Czech Republic on four. I think that England are pretty much through. Um, it's just a question of they'll top the group. Um, whether they should or not remains to be seen. <laughs> you want to avoid, avoid Portugal and Germany and France and their men. So, um, but I think a point against Czech will be fine. And even if we lose against Czech Republic, I'd be very hard pressed to see us um, uh, not finishing third and or not being one of the best third place teams to go through anyway. And that might not necessarily be a bad thing. Anyway, guys, please subscribe to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Stay tuned for more more Euro reactions. Have a nice day, everyone. And cheers.